life, you look me in the eye now. Took me 19 years to figure this thing out now, folks. If you understand what I'm fixing to tell you, this is going to save you thousands and thousands of agony, hours of agony. This could make you hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm going to give you my entire management philosophy, folks, that I've developed over 19 years in one sentence. I'm going to boil everything down in one sentence. If you understand this one sentence, you're guaranteed to be wealthy. I was in Philadelphia three weeks ago during this super seminar with 10,000 termites, just like in this arena here. Yeah, in Philadelphia, this is the 200th year celebration of signing our Constitution. Everybody's flooding in the place. It's a fun place to go uh, right now. And, and on, on every corner in Philadelphia, you know, they've got statues of George Washington and Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson, and they got all these famous sayings of all these great American heroes. Uh, but you know what? There's probably never been a human being on the face of this earth that's ever said anything as smart as I'm fixing to tell you. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. Folks, this is the answer, the total answer to being successful in business. This is the management philosophy that will make you a superstar in business. Can you believe that an old football coach with a PE degree and an average IQ could think of something so brilliant? Now, now listen, think about this, folks. Think about this. How many pieces of flesh have lived on this earth? Nobody knows, right? But do you know do you know, as much as I can determine, I am the single human being that's lived on this earth that said this first. Hey, listen, listen, hey, listen, listen. There's probably never been a more brilliant statement uttered from the lips of a human being than what I'm fixing to tell you. Hey, now, hey, listen, 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 listen. Now, listen. Probably one day, you're going to see a monument to Art Williams. And it's going to uh, have this dadgum statement on it. Hey, 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 folks, do you understand what I'm telling you? I'm telling you a management philosophy in one sentence that guarantees you to be a superstar in business. Hey, listen, listen. Do you know Benjamin Franklin ain't ever said nothing compared to what I'm fixing to tell you today in Chicago? All right. All right, listen, listen. You're going to miss it. This is pure genius. <laughs> Folks, this is all there is wrapped up in one sentence. Nine words guaranteed to make you wealthy. You ready? going to save you thousands and thousands of hours of agony and frustration. Are you ready? All right, here it is. Here it is. My entire management philosophy. Listen, the whole ball game guaranteed to make you a superstar. Here it is. All you can do is all you can do. Hey!
Yeah, hey, is that brilliant? Listen, now listen, is that brilliant? Okay, listen, is that unbelievable? Okay, listen, listen, listen. Now listen. All right, listen, now listen, listen. Now listen. All right, hold on. Listen, now listen. Listen. I right, listen. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, now listen, listen. Hold up now, hold up. I right, listen. Listen. I right, listen now, folks. I'm fixing to give it to you. Now listen. Most important thing you'll ever hear in business in America today now. All you can do is all you can do. There ain't nothing more than all you can do. That is the absolute maximum. You can't do no more than all you can do. You understand that? All you can do is all you can do. All you can do is everything. That's the absolute ultimate, right? But the second part of that saying is all you can do is all you can do, but all you can do is enough. Now listen, now listen, 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 now listen. Folks, my first two years in this business, I wanted to quit and go out and get a good job every day. My ego was crushed every day. Folks, do you understand now, before I, before I sold my first plan, I was a crusader. I just didn't go out and sell life insurance to make the money. I studied this stuff. I had a $15,000 policy. I was shown you lose your cash values if you die. I could take the same dadgum money and buy $100,000 worth of decreasing term at that time with ITT. I was shown the concept of a mutual fund where I had my $100 going into a teacher's credit union, I'd build up a little money, the washing machine would tear up, we'd go take a few hundred dollars out, buy a new washing machine, couldn't save for a couple of months. All we had was a put and take account. I saw a mutual fund. I didn't know somebody like Art Williams could invest in American industry. Hire professional management people to, to run your money. I was shown that over the next 18 years, my $100 would grow if the economy did as bad as it's done over the last 18 years to $100,000. Then I could take out six or $7,000 a year and educate Art in April and still have that $100,000 where Angela could use that income to enjoy life later on. I went from a nothing to a $100,000 state where I've lived or died. I was going to Auburn working on my master's degree. I wrote a research paper on the evils of cash value life insurance. That was my first, that was my first uh, sales piece I used. I believe this thing like you couldn't believe. I tried to do everything right. I didn't want my friend. This was extra income to me. I was living on my coaching salary. I didn't have to make a dadgum sale to put food on the table. I vowed that I wasn't going to be like an insurance salesman. People are fed up with high pressure, fast talking, hard closing salespeople. I made a decision I wasn't going to sell on the first interview. I was going to take an educational approach to this business. Way before we had these computer printouts and all this kind of stuff, I'd go in there and I'd pick up the policies. I'd take an old legal size sheet of paper and I'd show these people point by point what they had year by year, benefit by benefit. Then I'd give them a proposal. And if I couldn't save you money, give you a better deal, I didn't want your business. I sold 100% term insurance. I sold what I owned on my own life every time. I was a crusader. I did everything you're supposed to do. In my first two years in this business, all I heard was no, no, no thank you. No, no I don't want any. No I changed my mind. No. And it was killing me. But two years later, something happened to me.